Let's continue. Button first, close all other windows. This one, this one, and this one. And if you don't see it, use this button, view, show title bars, and close it. OK, now we can see grids. View, show grid. And now we can see grids and levels, because this model came from Revit, and the Revit it is a native application for it. And as you can see, we are moving and grids are moving too. And first you should know that you can choose the model, the, the grid source. Now it's architect, we can change the structure and back to architect. So in a large model, we have many many models from Revit, AutoCAD and other programs. You can choose the Revit model which you need to observe the, the grids. It's very useful when you use this opportunity with the big models. It's first thing. The other thing is to use the right mode of grid location. By default you can see above and below. What does it mean? The green one is the grids that located at the level that is up our camera position and the red one grid and this all these red one grids are located at the level which is in the bottom from our camera position. So up grids, down grids. Very simple. And this is very fast model fast mode and we can change it to another. We can observe only above but only below or we can ask Namesburg to show us all the grids. All the grids are grey but the active ones are red and, and green. Uh, but I like the, the last one, the last one mode, fixed. We can use fixed model, fixed mode, and then use the level. I'd like to use the second floor. And now the grids are always on second floor. They're always on second floor. I'm moving and they're on the second floor. It's okay. And you can take the, the lowest one, basement parking. And then the bottom. And the third interesting thing about grids is that they depend on the viewpoint, the viewpoint settings. It depends on the on the projection, on the type of it, perspective or orthographic. Now we're using perspective and we can try front and see this one. But let's change it. Let's change it to orthographic. And now you can see that we see not only grids, but we see the levels. The levels and the label to the levels. This one. Now let's change again. Perspective and orthographic. OK. And one more thing. You can get closer to intersection of two grids and you can see their names and the level name. It's very useful when we work with the large models. When we do not see this label and this label, for example, for this place, and now we can read it 